Good evening, Audio Radiance. This is Dave Rios from Kono 1011, San Antonio's greatest hits, and every year the Texas Radio Hall of Fame recognizes the extraordinary efforts and tremendous talents of an outstanding female in our field. I'd like to take a minute to tell you about Chrissy Mernon. It was 1977 when Chrissy started rising through the ranks in the male-dominated newsroom at KKYX in the Alamo City, first as an intern, then a reporter, and eventually an anchor. In that time, she's covered it all. Stabbings, shootings, presidential appearances, even a visit from Pope John Paul. Her big break came during the historic power outage in San Antonio early in her career. And thanks to determination and a backup generator, Chrissy, along with Hall of Famers Paul Kirby and Jerry King, provided calming voices and vital information to hundreds of thousands of people. From the only radio station that was even on the air, today she is the master multitasker, covering traffic for all the Cox radio stations in Military City, USA, and yes, still delivering the news where it all got started at 6.80 a.m. every weekday morning with the King, Jerry King. At last count, a total of 50 reports a week. While well, she is quick to credit her mentors, like Bill Rohde, Pat Fitzgerald, and Joe Simpson, today is the day we recognize her determination, ability to adapt and change with the times, her spirit, her love for her city, her family, and her job. The only one she's had for an impressive 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating my friend, my co-worker, and one of the biggest reasons I still come to work, Chrissy Mernon the 2017 recipient of the Mary Sam Stoddard Sammy Award and a 2017 inductee of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. I don't know how many times in all these 40 years I said, technical difficulties. <laughs> hey, you just roll with it. Anyway, thank you so much. I have to thank Lee Woods for nominating me. And anybody who voted for me, thank you very much. This is an awesome place, Josh. Great job. And I'm thrilled to be inducted with some people I have worked with over the years. Mark Carrillo had uh, several stops at my stations. As a matter of fact, every now and then I got to be a disc jockey. I'm a news person, traffic reporter. But Mark would say, uh, you got a minute? And that was back in the day when you played a record and then you had a segue to the next record. Mark had to go down the hall and I got to segue for him. <laughs> So that was my time as a disc jockey. Anyway, I was hired um, for three months by Bill Rohde, an internship in the newsroom. And I wanted to be a rock and roll disc jockey. But he said, news is safer. You'll probably have a longer career. And so here I am 40 plus years later at the same station. And like Denise, being in the same spot, you work with all the people in the business they came through your station. You didn't go to all those stations and uproot your family all those times. Anyway, I have to thank my husband, Danny, who's actually, I met him over the phone. He heard me on the radio, and um, he, was at the, he was an investigator, an arson investigator with the San Antonio Fire Department, so I met him through news stories, and I appreciate everything he's done because anybody who's in radio their family does have to sacrifice you know because the station needs something or something's going on or something unexpected happens so thank you for always taking care of everything I appreciate that and um, you know the value of somebody made a uh, about connection and uh, in my father's last year of life, he was dying of cancer, and he was alone in a room a lot, but he was never alone because the radio was there with him. And he preferred the jazz station. He really didn't care for country. But that's when I knew, you know, how important radio is and a human behind a radio talking, as Tempe said, to one person or to them all, that connection. And really, it's just, it's such a privilege to have a job like this. And um, some days you're not grateful for it because you hate it, but most of the time you love it. And so I'm grateful that most of the time I have loved it. It's still fun to go to work. I work with Dave Rios. I work with Jerry King. Jerry King has been at the station, KKYX. He was the first person to ever play George Strait on the radio for 42 years, Jerry's been there. Tino Esquivel retired after 44 years, so KKYX has, there's Aurora Cantu used to work at KKYX. Mark Carrillo did time at KKYX. Ed Chandler, he's coming up, worked at KKYX. So we've just had a wonderful station, 
It's been a wonderful ride. I can't thank you enough, um, you know, all my bosses. And is that three minutes? Because, you know, we're all about time. Thank you very much for this honor.